The next budget battle to rattle investors is fast approaching, and that is debate over the debt ceiling. The Treasury will begin using extraordinary measures to pay its debts, buying time for Congress to act. Elon Mui has more from Washington. The national debt stands at $22 trillion, and starting tomorrow, the Treasury Department can't borrow any more to pay the nation's bills. That's because the debt limit comes back into force after Congress suspended it two years ago. They'll have to act again or risk defaulting on our debt. No one knows exactly when Treasury will run out of cash. The CBO projects it could happen late this fiscal year or early in the next one. In a letter to Congress, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said, honoring the full faith and credit of the United States is a critical commitment, and he urged Congress to raise the debt limit. But those negotiations have yet to begin in earnest on Capitol Hill. I think on a bipartisan level, we should sit down together and find a way that we can stop the spending behavior of this government and actually curve to where we could pay off our debt. To make things even more complicated, the deadline for the debt ceiling is smack in the middle of two other big fiscal fights. The deadline to fund the government and prevent another shutdown and the deadline for avoiding automatic spending cuts that would chop $125 billion out of the federal budget. Unless we get a budget deal, sequestration returns in fiscal year 2020. That would mean steep cuts in programs that invest in America and support working families. For now, the clock is ticking. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Ilan Mui in Washington.